Now, our, yeah. this engine says 2,000 on it, but I can remember a time when it was only 600. Uh, give me a little history on what's going All on. All right. The Rotax 9 Series engine was released in serial production in 1989. We're now sitting just past 20 years of production. Now, originally, this engine series came on the market, and you will remember this well. It had a 600-hour TBO. As an introductory engine, we didn't know what our weak points would be. But there's been over 5,000 documented changes in this engine over 20 years. And with each change and each series, every few years, we've updated the warranty. This has to be done by flight testing. This has to be done by a lot of uh, dynamometer testing and a lot of durability testing on components and parts. We moved and progressed to 1,000, then 1,200, then uh, the last one was 1,500, and this year it's now 2,000 hour TBO on the 9 series engine. Interestingly enough, they not only moved the 80 and 100 horsepower, they also moved the turbocharged 914 engine from 1,200 hours to 2,000 hours. And this was done primarily with the introduction of a brand new crankcase that we did in 2006. Well, on the external side, it looks identical for all intents and purposes. The internal workings of the crankcase, the, the way it's attached, the way it's fastened, it's very technical. We went into angle torque fasteners, special stretch bolt fasteners. This has increased the durability of life to the point where the engineers did a lot of extensive testing and a lot of evaluation on military use engines and uh, they felt there was no problem moving us to 2,000 hour TBO. Now you would have to check the serial number of the engine. Of course the serial number is located on the back side of the engine on the serial tag. And depending on which engine series you have, you may have other updates to do to get it to the 2,000 hour. If your engine serial number is one that was made from 2000, mid-2006 to current date. Uh, earlier engines, it's not possible if they don't have the newer crankcase to raise the TBO. We do have a special thing that's coming out, very new. Uh, we just announced it to our independent service centers. And we do have a new overhaul program where we will offer to people who have the older crankcases with the 1,500 hour TBOs, when they do overhaul at their 1,500 hours, they can put in a brand new short block at no additional cost. They will be the same overhaul price and they'll be able to move their old engine to the 2,000 hour TBO. And is that in effect now? That's just started. We just released it. We expect to qualify the independent service centers that can do this within the next three to six months. Okay, so Dave, the main question we always get on that TBO increase is how do I know if my engine can be increased without a crankcase change? There's a real simple way to tell that. Up until mid-2006, all the crankcases were serialized consecutively. Starting in 2006, what we did is we started putting the year, the space, and then the serial number. So if we look between cylinders number two and four, down between the pushrod tubes, we're going to find an imprinted serial number right here, just above the casting number. And in this case, we see a number. Now, if it is not a consecutive number, it starts with a two-digit number, 06, 07, 08, 09, or 10. That tells us that this is the new version crankcase. And this engine, as we see it here, is a 2,000-hour TBO. But some of the earliest ones from 06 and 07, there are some small changes you might have to do. For example, the early version, 2006 engine, we have to take out the plug for the oil pump and we change the spring in this plug is to a newer, harder material. It's a very simple change can be done by your uh, independent repair maintenance technician and he can get the parts from the service center. Now if you're unsure as to whether your engine qualifies, there's a series of bulletins that are covered. You can get those bulletins from rotax-owner.com or from the rotax-aircraft-engines.com web pages. Look for the TBO increase bulletins. They're the latest ones. Locate which one covers your serial number and engine model number. And if you're still having problems, contact your independent service center and they'll walk you through what you need to do to check and see if you have the 2,000 hour TBO or you need to do more work. And this is worldwide. This is not limited to the United States this, or Canada. This is worldwide, correct Dave.